Hello, good evening, and welcome to Upfront. Today, my guest was recently seen a viral video inciting some students at Timpani High School against the president, which has generated mixed reactions. The video saw the politician describe what he saw at the school. He was insistent that this was despicable. He was also seen encouraging the students to reject President Akufuado as he is the cause of their predicament. He has been slammed and asked to apologize, but he's refused. Of course, this has also led to the headmaster of the school being suspended and started a huge debate on campaigning in schools. Today, he's my guest here. We'll be speaking to Joshua Kamba. He is deputy national organizer of the NDC, but he wants to be the national organizer. Mr. Kamba, you're welcome. Thank you, Chief. It's been a long time. Yes, uh, you apparently have been in the three regions of the north causing disaffection for this government. Pretty obvious. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I don't understand when you say causing disaffection. Yes, yeah, because and, you uh, I'm sure that you are in a video. I'm sure that um, it looks as if the journalist of uh, our country is mm -hmm. sleeping. Really? Uh, yes, because um, this should not be coming from me, a politician. It should be coming from you. But well, we've done stories and, about and, 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 we've uh, done stories about congestion in senior high schools so across how, the country come, on so how many come, occasions. How come it's not news until I appear? No, I mean, it's because you are using it for your political advantage. Oh, how? What, what, what makes it political? I mean, Chief, you know what? I've said it so many times that I've been traumatized by this situation. You have been traumatized? I am so stressed. This is the first time you are seeing something like that. You know me. I mean, okay. I mean, you know that I will always... Um, I have said it somewhere mm -hmm. that if I'll, I'll, be, I'll be sacrificed for the students to be liberated or for the students to be free, I'm fine with that. Describe to me how you got to that particular school. I, I didn't even know in the first place there was a school there. I went to, I don't know the area too well, even though I come from that area. Um, I went to, I think, Garu and the way to Tempani to have a meeting with the delegates and then to Pusiga. But this school is situated, you just pass right in front of the school, there's a street. Okay. You know, so you just drive past. Mm -hmm. So it was, when I was driving, in fact I was even on phone, then um, my driver stopped. What was it? So when I turned, I saw the students, because on the car, I have my stickers on them. Oh, okay. So I think that they knew that I was a politician, mm -hmm. and so they, they have to, but the information I got later is that it's not the first time they've been stopping politicians. I'm even told they even stopped Dr. Bahamia when we were in power. So the students stopped the politicians? They stopped my okay. car. Uh, so it was raining, actually. So I came off the car. They said, we are hungry. Come and see what we are going through. We are hungry. I mean, if you look at the video. That's what they told you? Yeah, that's what they told that me. That they're hungry? They are hungry. And but these are students in a senior high school? Yes, please. And so I saw the, their chop boxes. I turned and saw their chop boxes. And I said, what is that? So I came off the car. So I thought that the double track system was there to solve these congestion problems. So why is it still there? They, they told you they had congested schools. It was serious. I mean, the situation, that's why I thought that uh, Joy FM is a big uh, uh, media uh, house. I was expecting that by now you people would have gone there to either contradict me or to prove me right. But so, unfortunately... So you're saying that the, the students stop politicians and tell them their problems? I'm, I'm sure, yes. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. And you didn't yeah. mastermind this. You didn't oh, well, why would I, mean, I said in the first place, I didn't even know there was a school there. Yes, but I mean... And, you know, when I, when I hear that, oh, did you tell the head, did you report to the headmaster? It was not an intention to even go to the school in the first place. If it was an intention to go to the school, that's a different matter. I see. But there was not any... I didn't even know in the first place that there was a school there. Okay. I didn't know there was a road through. Hmm. You know, if I knew... That's a different matter. So but I was taken by surprise that this is a school, and then the students stop the road. Stop. Obviously, it's possible that somebody was hurt, and that they needed an oh, okay. assistant. Okay. You know. So that's what I thought. The way they were, they were so desperate. Is it that one of them is hurt? Let me calm down. I wouldn't have calmed down. So when I came there, come and see. We are suffering. We are frying like fish. I mean, that's the word. Those are the words they use. Yes. Mm. You know and. I've, I've been traumatized ever since. If okay. you want, so come to describe to me the situation there. Now, you're saying that the place is congested. How do you get to know the place is congested? You know, they, the girls walked out. Obviously, if it's not congested, you wouldn't have seen their boxes there. They have their chop boxes, their trunks. They have, you know, if, it, if they you have watch, where? In front outside, of the Outside, outside the dormitory it was, if it's raining, I mean, if you have the video, look at it. You see that the boxes, they are even chop boxes are wet with their trunks, you know? So, I so mean, these this, were their this, dormitories, right? 
They were these are dormitories. Yes. dormitories. These are, they have closed around 4 o'clock. Okay. They had closed. They had closed. And, uh, yes, they had closed around 4 mm -hmm. o'clock. And then they said, we don't even have a uh, dining hall. We eat here. And look at our food. They were showing the food. And So they, they were eating so which meal at 4 p.m.? I think uh, something with soup. I didn't ask them. But that's not dinner time. Yes, but obviously in the secondary school, and that's around also not four lunch time. Around four, four o'clock something. Yeah. That's the time school serves dinner. Don't you know? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could be after lunch, whatever it okay. is. So, but, but that's the point I'm saying. So, yeah. where their dormitories are is where they eat. That's where they eat. Because there's according no dining to, hall. According to the, one of the girls. I mean, if it was that, I wanted to find out. Do you have a dormitory? This whole thing lasted in less than ten minutes. Really? Yes, 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 yes. yes. I said it's not a planting. Some delegates were waiting for me. Mm -hmm. It's not a planting. And one thing is that, even recently, I don't know what that one is, not a news. Recently, I was somewhere in Tamale. Ladies were pounding fufu. I joined them. These three, three people pounding fufu, mm -hmm. four people pounding fufu. I saw that one of the ladies was sweating. So I went and took the distance from her and started pounding too. That is not a news. But no, that's not related to oh, what really? you're talking about. See, the substantive point... It should only tell you that. You went to school. You went to a school. You saw students with some of them, they are chop buses and other things outside, and you conclude that there was congestion in the school. Do you know whether this school is on the double track system? That I'm, 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 I'm unable to say. But because you said that, because of the introduction I of thought, the I thought, track, I mean, obviously all of us know that the government, but they haven't also specified to us which uh, schools were on double track and all that. I agree. So, yes, so yes. I, I wouldn't be able to Actually, see. Actually, they've detailed that, yes. They yeah. put out a list so of the schools. So now we know. Yes. You yeah. know, so, but that's the situation. But I think that, why are we not looking at the problem? Chief, we should be looking at the problem. That's more important to me. The problem in this case is what? That the students are in an affected area where they themselves were showing me their skin and showing it to me. They were in an affected area. So I think that uh, we should look at the problem rather talking about how to crucify me. If that's what's going to make them happy, that's okay. That's fine. But for me, let's look at the problem. So I've been traumatized, so, like so, I told sorry. you. Sorry, did you yes. tell the students that they should reject the current president because of their condition? Obviously, I'll take advantage of that. I'm so you took advantage of the situation? Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Yes, yes. So there was a predicament. Obviously, obviously, several times Dr. Bamia, we saw him taking advantage. Several times we saw, uh, what do you call it, his assistant Nana Akufado taking advantage. Several times we heard uh, Sami Oku taking advantage and even calling on people to use things and hit people. I mean, they work freely in this country. Several times, my own in law, uh, what is called Tony Abe Ifokabo, we heard him, the threats that he said, things that he said that was so divisive. They worked free in this country. Is that right? So you are doing the same thing? Is that, is that to show that the MPP is only intolerant when they are being governed, when we are being governed by a, a human rights lawyer? Come on. No. Okay. Now let me get this straight because I'm seeking to understand what the students' condition first. So they showed you marks on their bodies because they are bed bugs in their school. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you see it? And you, you also conclude that the bed bags are because there's congestion. Ah, they said, listen to the word I use. Yes. They said, come and see us as if we are being fried inside like fish. Oh, okay. That's what came out of their mouth. Can you come? I said, no, no, they said, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Come and see. I said, no, 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 this one is too much. Obvious. I was also in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would have taken the opportunity to go to the find out. Yeah, to the, no, not the other one. You cannot go into a girl's dormitory. For what? Or is it a girl's dormitory? Yeah, it's a girl's dormitory. I see. So you could know there's no way you could have entered a girl's dormitory. But you met the girls outside. They walked out. If I when they when the rest, those that stopped me, mm -hmm. when they saw that I was coming out, then the rest started running out of the dormitories. Come and see, come and see, come and see. And even if you heard, if you look at the video, one of the guys asked, Are you happy with this? They said, No. No, you, no, you didn't ask that. Oh, later on I did. <laughs> Oh, let's so, yeah. To be clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let, let me get this clear. You saw a very terrible condition. You never yeah. asked the headmaster, the senior housemaster, or anybody for explanation as to why the current situation is. And yet you sought to benefit from it or exploit I, it. I, 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 if it was an intention, mm -hmm. or if I had a mind. But if you watch the full video, I don't know who has it. I keep saying that if I, if I have a copy of it, I'll be happy. But if you watch the full video, Mm -hmm. I, I kind of gave them advice as to you suffer to gain. Okay. I gave them that advice. And if you watch the full video also, I said that when I get to Accra, I'll try to make that point and let people see their predicaments. But at a point, they were even following me and asking me for money. 
Obviously, I could not have put the money in their hands. I, was, I didn't know how to put money in their hands that collect the money. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't do it at all. And I felt that I was being wicked to them because they were saying, we are hungry, we still want food. Obviously, I could have given them something. But I didn't see why. If I had seen, when we were moving, then something struck me that I should have, actually maybe if I had seen a teacher or somebody there, I would have handed some money yeah. to them to buy something, sugar or a bag of rice or something to, for them. But it was not something that was planned. Okay. It wasn't planned. If it was planned... Uh, maybe all these other things would have followed, but it wasn't planned. So, to this video, I, several people, I think, I mean, students, I, think, I don't know, I don't know. Yourself. You know, I was busy. How could I have been taking video and talking at the same time? <laughs> I mean, you know, mm. if not, you know me, I don't. You didn't I'm ask not, anybody to take the video. No, no. You know, for me, I'm. Were not you somebody. with a team? Yes, I was with. Yes, yes. Could there have been your team to this video? Oh, possibly, they could have taken. Possibly, some of them could have taken. Possibly, uh, students. You know, students these days also have videos. Oh, okay. so yeah, yeah, but. I think that if I'd even had the video, mm -hmm. what I would have done was to actually send it to the proper, uh, 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 proper uh, 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 quarters for them to be dealt with. Because I thought that I still, like I said, that when I lie down, I kind of get up, frightening. Are these girls still in this situation that I find them? But okay, so you found their situation very despicable, very terrible condition that they lived in. Sure. And your best response was to ask them to reject the current president. What, what, what do you think I would have done? I should let them, I should tell them to keep them so that then this will be in opposition? Is that what you want me to do? But it sought to me that you sought to exploit the predicament of people, and that's not nice. Is that right? Yeah. Really? Is it nice? At the point that they were doing it, it was nice. At the time that they were jumping and telling toddlers to sing and insult President Mahama, was it nice? So you are paying back? No, it's not payback. The Ashanti says something, you understand it. I buy the Botichi. And one the Boba. Okay. And I'm sure when they have the opportunity in opposition, they will do the same thing in the West. I mean, come on. You and I were in this country. Why can't the MPP be tolerant at least what they promised Ghanaians? Okay, sorry. Now let's be clear on this one. So to you, that means that there's a problem with the free SHS program. Oh, obviously. I mean, it's not today that we started saying that. Mm -hmm. We started saying that there's a problem with it. Let's give them the infrastructure. We started, we started the day schools, mm -hmm. and that we thought that we should put it up as a first phase. Mm -hmm. And so some specific schools could do the boarding mm -hmm. and house them to, to care this. I mean, we, we foresaw this thing. And if you did remember, one, one of our unity works in, um, in, uh, in, 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 in the Western region. Okay. His Excellency President Mahama has suggested that, please, let's get back to the drawing table and look at the way forward. Let's all discuss it and see what we can do to resolve this our problem. Oh, his proposal, oh, yeah, the MPP yeah. says, will collapse. If the president right. insists, it will collapse the free SHS program. Which one? The proposal he's given. The review he's suggesting. Obviously, that the we should, should listen, will collapse. Listen, that's not what he said. He said, listen, let's come back. Let's do consultation, proper broader consultation. Both parent, both. Let's sit down and see what we can do to resolve it. So the MPP insulted him. You're not here. Yeah, I've gotten the point. And told, us that, and told us that it's succeeding. It's okay. It's only that the NDC is wicked and we hate it. Okay, but let's be clear. But you heard the students themselves, did you? Yes, I Good. heard. I heard some students complain. Ah, a, a, a situation that. See, in felt, Tamale. Yes. In Tamale. Yeah. There's a school in Tamale. The children are sitting on the floor, bare floor. What, what's the name of the school? Oh, I'll tell you later. No, but you can't make a claim like that and uh, not state facts. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You see, uh, I mean. So, so this school does not exist. Let's be clear. That's what to you. No, but really, I mean, I have seen it. You are just making a claim I said, without I have seen it. We saw it. I had. I had. Uh, you had no problem with I had, mentioning things. I had. I had. No, because the yes. video is out. Yes, but Maybe if why this one can't is you out? Too, yes. If this one is out, we then talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it suggests to me that you are just making a, an example you. that does not exist. That is to you. So, what's the name of the school? Which one? The the one one. That, yes. Don't worry. Oh, you, you in see. which district is this school? I will show you later. In which constituency is the school? Don't worry. Clearly, there is no school like that existing. To, up to you. Okay, now let me get this point also clarified. Have you asked the authorities at the school what's been happening now? I'd like to call them? Yes. I don't even have anybody's contact. Okay, so let me get this straight. You saw a condition. You didn't help immediately. When you got back to Accra or got back to the regional capital, it didn't provide any help. Three, it's become a big national issue, and Why? yet you've not sought to find out really what is Why? the actual state of the Listen to there. me. Listen to me. You know what I've been doing? I've tried. I've even spoken to some organization in the U.S. Oh, really? Yes, I did. I see. Yes, and they were talking about bringing beds, and I was interviewed in a radio station mm -hmm. in the U.S. They were talking about bringing beds. They want to bring that. They want. To. I said, listen, in the first place, 
come and help the government to put up a dormitory. Because later on, when I went to the police station and find out, they actually have beds and mattresses. Is that, that they don't have the accommodation so to the house facility the doesn't exist in the first Exactly, place. exactly. So they have. And I have been doing a lot of talking. I met a couple of doctors who are actually ready to move into the place there to spray the whole place. I'm told that actually the government had given... Doctors? Oh, yes, yes. Well, why would, be, why would be the would job of spraying be the job of a doctor? No, I mean, to say that they, they would be moving there to look at the skin problems. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get to look you. at the skin okay. problems mm -hmm. and then to give them some kind of creams okay. to use on their body. I'm talking to people. people I'm, I've been speaking to people. I said, I've been traumatized. I mean, I've, talking, I've spoken to people that are thinking about even bursting, taking food stuffs there. At what point in time did the police invite you on this matter? I have the senior housemaster mm -hmm. had uh, gone there at the advice of the deputy attorney general mm -hmm. to report me for offensive conduct. Hello, oh, no, let's be clear. The senior housemaster of the school. No, the headmaster. Sorry. Headmaster himself yes, 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 yes. had gone to report you. Yes. The headmaster has been interdicted now. Yes. He's going to report you yes. for offensive conduct. Yes, please. What are the details of this uh, offensive conduct? According to him, that um, the deputy attorney general had sent him. Which of them? Uh, Pinker, who is the yeah, member a, of parliament. Yeah, didn't you? Yeah. He's uh, an MP there? Yes, he's a member. I mean, that was the first time I got to know he was even the MP. Oh, really? The student didn't know him. No, I, didn't, I know him. He's yeah. my friend. Uh, that, actually, he didn't know that. I didn't know actually that that's, uh, you know, okay. I'm not familiar with that okay, area. I, I know Boku, I know Pusiga, but that particular Tempani mm -hmm. area, for some reason, I've not been there before. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yes, so I have not been there before. So I asked them, who is your MP? And they said him. They mentioned him. I said, wow, are you saying the deputy attorney general? They said, yes. So he actually, when he, see, he saw the video yeah. and actually posted it to the headmaster, mm -hmm. and asked the head, headmaster, what was this? Then the housemaster, um, who is the, also the MPP secretary, constituency secretary of the school, actually accompanied the headmaster. The constituency secretary. Yes. MPP and also the senior housemaster. Senior housemaster house master of the school. Yeah. Actually accompanied the, what do you call him? Headmaster. The headmaster to the police and reported of uh, offensive conduct against his excellency, the president, and the member of parliament. Okay. And um, the housemaster, who is actually supposed to be, uh, be responsible to the students, mm -hmm. not the headmaster, uh, right? Yeah. The headmaster has been interdicted. The MPP uh, 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 constituency secretary is still at post. I see. Yeah. Yeah, but the interesting part in all of this is that now, so you were invited by, by the police. Yes, I wrote my statement. Yes, I've been billed by, I was handed over to my uh, regional chairman. What was what, the charge again? Offensive conduct so, against His Excellency the so President. So, what are the details of this offensive conduct? That I said shame to the President. You said shame? Yes, please, I did. And shame is offensive conduct? Yes. You said it? I said it. You I said did. it? Yes, I did. But you, if students are in a terrible state, why do you go saying shame? Uh, you see, I thought that the situation was shameful. And you I said shame that, to the President? I thought, I, thought, I thought the situation. Not to the headmaster, not to the deputy fact, director, fact, not to the regional director, fact, not to the deputy education fact, minister in charge of secondary education. Fact, later, not to the later education on, minister. Later on, when your outfit yeah. actually interviewed the headmaster, he had said that he's tried several times to resolve the issue. And in, on that occasion, he had actually tra traveled out of the place to go and still talk about the same problem. So he was not there. So I thought that the situation was so shameful. And I still think it's shameful that we don't have to put our kids through that. And obviously, Chief, you should understand is that. Is that the first time there's a chief, congestion in this, chief, chief, in this chief, country? Chief. I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing it anyway. First time you? This is the first time I'm seeing it. I'm seeing congestion in this country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? This is the first, yeah, of course. You are in this yes, country? Yeah. Yes. If you, have, you know it, I don't know. This is the first You've time. You've reported That's, congestion in that, several I haven't seen it. You've not heard of them? You? We did By report Joy FM? Yes, yes. That, that you tell you that I only listen to Joy FM? <laughs> it's interesting. Are you saying that you've not heard of these concerns before? I said that I saw one such, yeah. such uh, problem on the mm -hmm. central region road. Yeah. Central region. On that road, central region, somewhere. Was this after Timpani? Or? Recently. No, before then I have seen it. But you said then, you have not seen a condition. No, like I'm before. just giving a, uh, some example. Okay. That I saw a school like that. Mm -hmm. I had issues with them. I came on TV and radio and I was talking to another MPP panelist, who might be a senior person, of the situation there. He said I was lying, and that there's nothing like that. And the students were very okay, and that they were even provided for, they were given chocolate after meal. And they were given meat, they were given, he said that. I said, listen, what I saw that day, that 
Students were actually sleeping outside. It was terrible. I see. He said I was lying. So, you see, it's not that we haven't complained. Why? Um, the Minister of Education, Napo, is a good friend of mine. Huh. He's a good friend. And I think that the first thing to do when you saw the situation was to call you him. You see, I'm telling you that the next thing I was going to do was to go to his office. Hmm. I, there was some problem with um, this um, Teshi, that school there. I, I spoke to him about it. But obviously, the trend that the uh, MPP had taken it up, there are communicators going. It means that it's something they knew about, and they didn't want, to, they didn't want a solution to it. That they knew it, because obviously, if there's a problem by now, the person who should have called me to sit down to discuss it, we are all Ghanaians, chief. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that is first-class citizen than the other. The MPP see themselves as more first-class citizens than any other person. How is that explained? I don't get you. Yes, it's explained because they can do anything and get away with it under any government. The, anybody that is NDC cannot do and get away with it. That's terrible. Even if it's unlawful. Which one is unlawful? They did it unlawfully and go out. What, what they were doing was it unlawful. I'm just asking you because, you see, the, you have been charged. There is an <laughs> inquiry currently ongoing. Right. You are currently a person of interest in the law enforcement agency in this country. Yes, that's right. But, so you cannot say that they can do things and go away with it. Uh, that, I'm a, uh, that I was planning a coup? No, uh, but you don't have to. There are laws in this country. It's not limited to planning a coup. Which law did I break then? You have Educate openly uh -huh. and publicly uh -huh. called the president's name into radical by shaming him. <laughs> Before Ghanaian students, young ones, and incited them to do the same. That's why you were a drug so, so at the point, at the point when uh, John Mama, John Mama was hooted at and insulted, he was not a Ghanaian. But he could have actually caused the arrest of the people. Okay, so I agree. Yes, he could have. He's the a lawyer, John Mama, Mama. Thank you. When you have the opportunity, please be tolerant to the MPP. I see. So I mean, I think that you, you see the listen, certain. Let me tell you. There something. are two faces of this you are listen, not recognizing. Listen, the certain. Let me come. Mm -hmm. Let me come something. Ray. You see, the sad thing about this country, Okay. when you move to the United States, right, mm -hmm. people tell Donald Trump a whole lot of shit, excuse my language, right, and they go away with it. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of democracy. I was speaking to a colleague politician, regardless that he's my father, mm -hmm. but for now, we are all politicians. Okay. Do you understand? So we speak the political language. But, but we, are, we, are, we are ethics in this state. You are values. Obviously. Listen, let me tell you something. You, can, you cannot use partisan politics let me tell you something. to subvert these ethics and values that let me, let me we tell so you much dearly let me, keep let me in our you, states. Let me tell you something. I mean, I, I just heard one of our colleagues, senior colleague, respected colleague, um, Inus Afusini, mm -hmm. said that if it's an offense to uh, do politics in the compost, I mean, all, all of a sudden the GES is, has written to all of us that nobody should go into the schools to do politics. They've right? written to political parties? They haven't. I mean, I've heard it. I've to the various schools. schools. Actually, yes, yeah. obviously. So we have heard it. So when I'm passing and a student is lying down, I just drive and pass because I've been asked as a politician not to stop. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is give me a few seconds. I'll read some of the messages that people are sending via the Facebook Live that they're watching us currently. This one says, um, uh, well, okay, so this one says, Brother Kamba, you do all. Go on and do more. Kwame Lord says, please, I'm disappointed in you as a friend. And uh, Jamal Adam says... He's disappointed in you. You, not me. me. I mean, I'm not... I'm no, the he's one. not my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one says, Kwame Lord, please, I'm... Okay, no. Jamal Adam said, didn't the MPP say more than what is called offensive conduct in this case? Now, Prince Pablo says, you give your platform to this gentleman. Uh, okay, so... Well, indeed, uh, he, he's, he's a first class citizen. Yeah, uh, yeah. second class no, citizen. No, he's not. Sir. So, oh, okay. He might also be NDC. You may not. Oh, know. I'm not sure. Tete <laughs> Agbeko. And, and NDC would not speak like this. No. Tete -te Agbeko we see, says that all of us equally. You can't put your thoughts together properly, and you want to be national organizer of the NDC. Real Dai says, I don't like a Kamba, but please, congestion in schools is completely not a good idea in the first place. The president should come and arrest. Well, that's interesting. And, uh, Did you arrest the situation? Yes, that's what he wants done. Mohammed Abdul Malik says, keep the fire burning, Akamba. And Steve is actually saying you should ask them again. And uh, well, this one says here, why if NPP tells them, John Mahama, uh, not to engage in offensive conduct? Ewan Ayamba says, police will deal with the people involved. And Sami Ray Dubuatin says, I can see a lot of Burkina Faso people here. I don't get a point in this particular case. Eric Adai says, shame on you, Akamba. And Anam Ponsan says, look at his arrogance. That's, that's offensive conduct. They're shame on you. 
Now, no, ja he's forgiving. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's not, Jamal I Adam okay. says, this is a fact. And J Jamal says, that's MPP for you. Oh, well, M Mohammed Abdul Malik says, skin pain. Well, what well, I come by is what Steve Jones is also written here. I want some of the people who have questions for you. Okay, now, um, con offensive conduct power is what is being said by Jamal too. Ahmed Yao Kedem says, this man is definitely, oh, okay, this man is definitely an issue wrecker. The police should deal with him. And that's uh -huh. on the, uh, with this, okay, uh -huh. well, so Major Kumsen says, wow, this saint is traumatized. And that should not be something you should be excited about anyway. Tim Kula says, self-seeking, greed individuals, and why have some youth also backing them? The Abdul Kadir al said, the school exists. The name of this school is Presby Senior High School in Banvum. Ah, okay. Is that the school you're talking about? So he just mentioned it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see. But you could have just mentioned that one too. Oh, well, right. I, I, yes. Now, Isaac <laughs> Teviu says, well, uh, stop playing saints. That's what he's saying. And Kwabna Jako apologizes for what? If I somebody's asking that you should apologize, the vice president should also apologize. That's what's being called upon to do. That both of us should apologize. Yes. Kwabna Jako says you should stop the lies and apologize. You politicians always want to have your way. And that's what's being said by... Maybe I read the last set of messages. Malik Jegado says oh, what, um, he doesn't believe that you are the wrong person to be here. He said what you did could be wrong, though, with a lot of precedents. Uh, we better as a nation should be more serious uh, about dealing with these problems. And uh, how can hungry students be shouting? They are fed. Go to the streets. There are people there. So he says your claim about hung hungry students shouting is not something that's valid in this Obviously, case. Obviously, I know that if these students are listening to mm -hmm. uh, this gentleman who wrote this uh, last point of it, um, should be cursing him by now. No, I, I don't think they'll do so, but let's, uh, let me that's what on. I think they'll be doing because the situation that I find it. Okay, yeah. so, well, I'll take a break. When I come back, we'll continue our conversation. You still want to be national organizer of your party, <laughs> even though you are currently under police investigation <laughs> and on bail. <laughs> Joshua Akamba is my guest. He's the one who's been inciting students to say things against the President of the Republic of Ghana. After this break, we'll continue our conversation. You welcome back. This is Upfront. My guest today is Joshua Kamba. He's deputy national organizer of the NDC, and he wants to be national organizer of the party. Recently, he was in Timpani School. By some happenstance, he met students who were shouting, as he says, and were very angry in a, in a congested place. They had big back infested marks on their uh, bodies, and he is actually the one who invited the police to interrogate this matter. He's beginning us details of this particular incident. So we left off on the conversation of having to hear what the people have to say about your conduct, what happened in the school, and all of that. Are you disappointed that some disapprove of what you did? I am disappointed because Ghanaians, some Ghanaians are hypocrites. Very, very hypocrites. Why? Um, you see, I'm sure that if they have their kids in those schools, mm. those people don't have their kids in those schools, so they don't see what the problem is. They don't know them for a <clears> fact. And they don't see you what the kids are you going You don't through. know the people I'm talking about for a fact. Obviously. I mean, if you see them, if, if you go through that, what I've seen, mm -hmm. and you are human, sorry, if you, you really have the feeling of human being, you know, Chief, let's look at, currently as I sit here, mm -hmm. like I was telling you offset, it has to do because of these are elections. Okay. I would have just traveled to the U.S. to look for a lot of support mm -hmm. for this school. Okay. And I want to do it. I'll okay. do it. Mm. Now, I'll do that school will change. I'll you know, you see, I think that businessmen, I've seen some, uh, some media houses and the executives doing a lot to help this country. Businessmen should come to find a way of helping government. Okay. It's not an easy thing. The free senior high is a good thing. Mm -hmm. We just cannot. The government should now come to, back to a, a drawing table. Let's see what we can do to help okay. resolve the issues. If not so, imagine those, those are areas. The areas are very hot. Mm -hmm. We only thank God this As time it's still raining. Of the north. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, it's raining now. Uh, what comes readily in mind is Kumaka. Um, you remember wh what happened there? I yeah. mean, they have the to meningitis do with, attack. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And our place is. We, we are the people that I actually experience it more. Yes, when is in that region. Yes, in that region. Yes. So what I keep feeling is that, what about if it was not raining? The heat. Would, are we going to experience another uh, uh, kumaka? So I call on government. That is sort of attacking and your communicators insulting me and all that. Let's go head on to confront the situation. 
it would help us. But if there's a bigger one, it rather cause more embarrassment to government rather than uh, 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 what I have seen. Mm -hmm. You understand? I it would have so caused more embarrassing situation. And social media, these times, is, is a wahala. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't like this uh, social media. You don't like it. I don't like it, no. Okay, no. Th that's interesting to know. Because obviously, you I benefited from a viral video that's gone oh, viral. Uh, you know, some, for some reason, I'm not... I only came into this... Uh, uh, going to radio and TV thing. You've known me for long. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. Okay. You yeah. know, I don't like coming on TV, radio, talking. But when we lost elections, mm -hmm. it looks as if virtually everybody was going to sleep. Yeah. So once in a while, they call you, they want you to react to something, and I get myself involved. But I am somebody who likes working on the ground. Okay, yes. I, let, let me come to that particular decision. So now you are being investigated. That's right, yeah. What is the last time the police got in contact with you? Oh, I just returned back yesterday. Have they told you they are taking you to court? I don't know. I don't know for, for now. So the district police is handling the matter? The district police and then the divisional police commander. Uh, they are handling they the are matter? Handling the matter yeah. uh, have they told you to regularly visit them? They will call me. They'll call they, when they, they need you? They will call me because obviously the regional, my regional chairman is in Boko. Okay. And um, a whole of the executives mm -hmm. within that area. Almost, I mean, I, I, I felt so bad because when I was there, people kept running to the police. Okay. Even people wanted to rent buses. I'll tell you that people took flight and followed me to the place. To the police station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see you as a hero, right? Oh, not necessarily a hero. They see me as somebody. I mean, you know me. I would always speak my mind. Mm -hmm. You know me. Yeah. I would always speak my mind. If I'm convinced about something, you might have to take my life. Okay. I'm still convinced about it. Mm. You understand? Whatever okay. you want to do, you can do to me. Mm. You do can you do, you can handle me in any way you want so, to handle me. Uh, 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 handle me the way you want to handle me. Yes. But make sure the children, the situation that they find themselves in, mm -hmm. they get out of that situation. That's more important to me. But mm -hmm. you can do anything to me. Do you think you are being uh, victimized? Seriously. Yes, harassed. Under, under a president that is uh, a human rights lawyer. He said he's done a lot of human rights cases. There's evidence suggests that. You know that, right? Oh, he, no, he did. He's reported in the Ghana Law Report. On the so so, yes. so where, where has he kept it? Now that he's the president. But you can't use your isolated case, I'm, I'm which sure, may have I'm nothing sure, to do with the I'm president sure, of the I'm sure of by now he should have actually called his people to order. I mean, I'm saying there's that, this, see, this, this you excuse have me. no evidence let, let me, to suggest let that. Let me wait. Let me wait. Sorry. Wait, wait. Let me end. Sorry. Please. Let see, me wait. See, let, see, please, please, please. I want this on record. Let me, let me, let me. You can come. If I demand proof from you, you won't be able to give me any. Wait. Can I tell you something? Please do. There's a viral video uh, voice that is also going out. I don't know who has sent it. I don't want to link it to anybody. But today, another radio station called me and actually said that. The, when people called me about the viral video, but I've gone quiet about it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you call it? The voice mm -hmm. that has come out. I went quiet about it because it's dangerous. So I don't want to be seen getting myself talking about it. Anybody who called me, I said, no, but let's take it easy. This country needs to move on. We need to, you, you understand? I get you. Then, an MPP communicator was called from uh, Ashanti region, I'm told. The regional communication officer of Ashanti, I don't know him. But well, the radio station called me after they finished talking to him. I said, why did you call me? He said, oh, this particular voice clip, we suspect Akamba was behind it. And I felt bad. I said, what? I mean, you send a voice clip insulting me and insulting my family and insulting my northern brothers, and you, you, you claim, when, when I'm actually telling people behind the scene that I think that is somebody who has taken advantage of it, then I said, whoa, I, sm I smell a, a, a rat, that these people are actually Not an behind elephant. No, no, an elephant, <laughs> actually. It's an elephant party. That I these see. people are actually mm. behind that viral voice. When behind me, I'm saying, that, no, 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 I don't think that the person that they are, they are saying, he did it, did it. Then I start saying, oh, if this guy is saying this, then they know about this viral Listen. And you see, please, 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 please. Ghana is a very peaceful country. Yeah. We love the way it is. No matter the hardship, we have to bear it. After 2020, we'll go and vote. Mm -hmm. Because you see, if people were going to remove people from, uh, by the barrel of the gun or by intimidation, you know when the NDC was in power? Unless I don't know that you want to intimidate people, I will not accept it. Okay. Well, I believe in freedom of speech. Okay. I believe in it. So you continue making these pronouncements. Which one? The one that says, uh, shame to the president. 
Oh no, maybe sometimes we we'll, 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 you tone down. You know, you know what? There's there's you see, please. I'm sure that somehow the president might be innocent about some of the things. Okay. But some of the things too, if we show him the videos, right? He will be shocked as a president. He should tell his people that they should tone down. They should sit down. And they see we are Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. We can help them. We can help together build a nation. I'm sure that if I not learn. You couldn't build a nation during your tenure. You can help them build a nation. Oh, then. obviously. Today, most of the projects that the MPP is commissioned, who did them? Tell me one single project that they've done that they have commissioned for now. Get it to two years. Tell me. I'm unable to find any, but does it mean that it's so? Be, so that no, no, no. So because I'm the NDC there. is building, I don't speak for the government. So oh, it is not I'm saying that way to because, find. but obviously you are asking me. Yes. And you are supposed to educate. Yes. Inform and yes. educate. Is that right? Yes. So if you are able, but you you're know not putting me. Like, you want to make me the spokesperson on the current government? <laughs> no, I will not do that. <laughs> so <laughs> you see, so because we are nation builders, mm -hmm. I mean we have done it, and they say that government is about continuation. Is that right? Yeah, it is. So obviously, the, most of the things that they are commissioned today is. Thanks be to the wisdom and the knowledge of the incompetent John Mahama who has put in them and they are commissioning them. Okay, now let me be clear on this matter too. So, so far as you are concerned, you continue campaigning in schools? No, 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 no. I didn't campaign in school. Okay, so you reject that. But there's a conversation I didn't campaign on that. School. See, there's a conversation on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have referenced this being done before by the former vice, yeah, the yeah. current vice president. Maybe they taught us. Okay, I'm saying that. Is the NDC still to go to campaign in schools? Uh, in fact, I, I think that my my colleagues have said that if this is the way they want to go they will they will campaign in schools yeah what's the what, why are you not hitting simple directives from the gs oh you see is it is it um is it an offense to come you see these are featured leaders some of us actually got ourselves involved in politics you are disrupting uh, what they call it uh, student activities with let me tell you after closing if they've closed yes, schools. Yes, but they have to go for If they've closed school. They have to eat sleep. There's a, uh, the entire really? day for a Ghanaian student. I mean, there, there's a time for comedy too. And That's there's a time. Is another thing. There's a time. But what you're doing is not entertainment. It's political activity. Is a, but is political activity, is it a crime? No, I'm not saying it's a crime. Good. So you in the NDC would disregard the directive for GES. Is that what you're saying? Is it a crime? No, the direct question is, will you disregard? No, I want to understand. Then if it's a crime, then we'll disregard. Will you go against the Is it a the crime, directive? my brother, is it? There's a directive from the GES on what to be done in schools. Is it law? The schools are not allowed is to it engage law? your kind. Is it law? Regardless, the GES have given a directive. Would you go ahead and follow it? Somebody just mentioned the name of a school. Will you go there? Which one? The Presbyterian school? Yes. Yes, see, we have correspondence in Tamale. So tell them out. immediately yes. if they are listening. By tomorrow morning, they should go there. Why? They will be, uh, what do you call it? They should go there tomorrow morning. You are going to campaign? Why? I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I was the when I saw it. I went there. Oh, no. You are not bold enough to say whether or not you continue campaigning. No, no, but you see, when you schools. ask... No, no, wait, 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 wait. When you say you are not bold enough... Yes. In the first place, I didn't go campaigning in school. Yes, I get your point. But your wait, party wait, says... Wait, wait, wait. Listen, the wait, party wait, says... Wait, 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 wait. You find nothing wrong Chief, with that. you can't bully me. Yes, I know. I understand You're that. not going to bully me. But I mean, between you and I, you are the one who is bullying me. No, so let me let be let the me one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me tell you something. Yes. When you go on to put people's life under a mess, mm -hmm. and we have Joy FM and the other media houses who are supposedly oh, are sleeping... Point. You're back to this point. Sleeping. Joy FM has done a lot of stories Please, in that sleeping, area. Sorry, sorry. Sleeping sorry. on the I'll, job. Sorry, I will not allow you to continue with this one. This network has done a lot of work in the area. I, I, thought, that, you I, thought, that, that. I thought that, I thought that, I thought that, now that I'm sitting here. Yes. When you called me. Yes. And told me you were coming to talk about my campaign. Yes, which I'd is win, part of the reason I, I, I will lick him. Because. <laughs> come, let me go. I will lick him. Yes. Eh? No, to come and listen to you so that we talk about my campaign. Yes. Not campaign in schools. But you, you decided to <laughs> campaign in the schools anyway. You decided to do it. You to campaign situation in the schools. Anyway, uh, but I'm asking whether you do it again. If you get students and you meet them, would you speak to them if, on this if matter? If I see students suffering, mm -hmm. I will. I'll go to their aid. But you'll not say that shame uh, to this, the president. This time, Sorry, you'll not say shame to the yeah, president. Yeah, but I'll expose what the students are going through. You'll not say shame to the president. I may not. Okay, wonderful. So you've learned a lesson from the current engagement to the police. Oh, honestly, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do. I mean, it's freedom of speech. Yeah, I did. I mean, I exhibited my freedom of speech. You don't support that, that speech any longer, do I you? I do. You do? I do, yes, yes, yes. I you do. think that people oh, yes. say shame to the yes. president? Yes. I mean, what insult were didn't people insult President Mahama? So it's, uh, it's not human being? payback? No, it's not about payback. Okay, now let me get this straight from it's you. It's not about payback. Because you know, I'm you know, you know, you know, you know, I may be saying it more because I know I have a human rights lawyer as a president. Yes. 
You understand? I get you. And he understands the human rights. Mm -hmm. And he understands freedom of speech. And even though he was the one who championed the repeal of the criminal law, mm -hmm. he was behind it. He, he was behind it. He pushed it. Yes, yes, he yes. pushed it harder. Criminal and seditious libel. Exactly. He pushed it. So I salute him for that. He's giving me that power. Even though, so I have it. Even though members of your party opposed it then in parliament. Oh, of course, now we are benefiting from it, is that right? <laughs> That's the truth anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I, I, I like your admission in this particular matter. Oh, yes. But let me get to I mean, it's the truth. I mean, when the president does anything that is good, mm -hmm. it's good. Yes. If it's bad, it's so bad. So what has the president done which is good now? Which one? Now. The criminal level law. Oh, that, that was a long time ago. Oh, but I'm enjoying it It was now. not president. Now I'm enjoying it. Free SHS is good, right? Very good. Very good. Excellent, too. It's wonderful. Believe, believe me, listen, we improve on it. We will improve on it. On we'll instance. give it the better move. I mean, which we're doing. Good one. We'll put it excellent, too. Beautiful. Okay. Not this one. Let me this one is party reaction. We promise you, so we have to do it by our armies. I and you, you hear people like... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, move from it. It's good, too. Doctor, we promise you, by doctor, by Doctor Adokufo and Kose, and listen, it's good. Let's do it, but let's take time. But he's not the president, neither is he the finance minister, neither is he uh, a former Even the finance minister admitted that this thing should have been done in a different way. Okay, now let me... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> let me get this point also clarified. You want to be the national organizer of the party? That's definitely You want true. to replace Kofi Adams? I'm not replacing him. He's, he's not contesting anymore. Yes, but he's not contesting. That's why I want yes, to replace him. Yes, So he'll, not... he'll, be your, he'll be your predecessor? Definitely so. You were his deputy? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Did he fail? Oh, I don't think he failed. I mean, you did see... Did you two fail as deputy national organizer? No. Let me come. I mean, he didn't fail. I don't think he failed. Um, you see, given the circumstance, right, mm -hmm. on the kind of campaign, the, the lie campaign the MPP did, will be the result that we got. So, Ghanaians were deceived? Seriously, they were deceived. Ghanaians were gullible? Yes, they were deceived. They were gullible? They were deceived. You said they were deceived. If that's your word. Ghanaians are gullible enough to accept de 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 deception. Now they, they found it. That's why the Abusha Al-Qaeda people are making noise. That's why the taxi drivers today are crying. That's why the uh, trotter drivers are crying. I mean, they found out that they've sold their, black, uh, their color TV to, for a black and white TV. So that's why people are crying today. I mean, if you watch the video where they still say, are you happy? They say, no. They've, they've seen that they've been deceived. Mm, the, your inciting video. Oh, stop it. <laughs> okay, now let me get... As, you, you know that. Okay, so do, let me tell why you. Why do you think do you, do you know that? Let me, let, let, me, let me end it with yes. this conversation with this. Do you do know that? I actually disagree when people attack President Akufadu. You disagree? Oh, yeah. And yet you attacked him? No, I didn't attack him. Ah, when you say that, shame on you. I, I said I benefited from his repeal of the criminal libel law. Yes, but that's not an attack on him. I, no, 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 it's not. What will be an attack on the I used on the I used the power that he has as a human lawyer, rights lawyer to, to put it through. To say shame on him. To shame, shame on you. Can you say shame on former President Mahama? Honestly, you, let me tell you something. Can you say that? Uh, Rui. Joshua Rui, 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 Rui. Can you make Rui. that statement? Well, if former President Mahama yes. do something that I think is shameful, I will tell him. You will tell him that? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's interesting to note that. Now, let me come to this point. What will you do as national organizer of the NDC? Chief, you see, as uh, a national organizer, you see, this party has been there from the beginning. Yes, I know. The You're also part of the reasons why the NDC lost 2016. <clears throat> let me, no, I'm not. Really? Let me, uh, let me tell you something. This party belongs to the ordinary party foot soldiers. I see. That is, has to do from the root. Mm -hmm. Before a tree is strong, it needs to build its root. Mm -hmm. That's where the party stopped, started from. Okay. And all of a sudden, we forgot about the roots of the party. Mm. And if you forget about so the roots... So you forgot in 2016? I think that... Yes, I think that we forgot it. And I think that... And what, who, one of the things that... you were a national officer. So if you don't allow me to end, how do, we, no, how no, do no, people no. Let understand? Me make the point. Let me make the point so that you don't just run without me getting the point through. You were a national officer. Which when you finish talking, no, when no, you no, finish no. talking, you let me no, no. talk. Which people forgot about the grassroots? You, you're a national officer. You, me, I'm not part of the NDC. I'm coming. Oh, uh -huh. you, today you are denying us. <laughs> 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 your partner has not given me a card yet. You have not sure Oh, you've forgotten you. about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. You want me? I mean, you and I don't do that. <laughs> you and I, we know each other very well. Don't, don't let me tell you something. Yes. You should have allowed me to end. Mm -hmm. Don't disjoint. Please and give me make reason. the point. Yes. You see, the party forgot about the roots. The roots. Mm -hmm. The roots of the party, we used to empower the party at the grassroots base. I see. And, you know, every leader, the president currently, has his own way that he wants to see this country moving, the direction the country wants to move. I see. True. 
I think that my leadership had their way that okay. they wanted to move it through. Mm -hmm. I will come with a different So what will you do specifically? That I will take this party back to the owners. Who are the grassroots? Who are the grassroots? I'll give them back their party. How will you do so? I will take every activity of the party, hand it over to the party constituency executives. Specifically the which branches. activities? Oh, the party activities has a lot. I mean, you talk about how to run the party, mm -hmm. how to run the party, how to make decisions on how to win. You see, they live directly with the people. Okay. So they know who an NDC person is and they know who an MPP person is. Okay. They know what problems are there on the ground. Me at the top there, I don't know. So the current leadership failed? I don't think they failed. I mean, everybody and their ways of uh, uh, governing. Okay. So I don't want to accept that they failed. Mm -hmm. It's your rule. If you govern, I have my, a, new, a different style. But you're part of them, right? Uh, I'm part of them. Were you making decisions? Oh, no, I don't make decisions. Oh, okay. That's no, interesting. I, make, I, I take instructions from my boss. And so Kofi Adams gave you instructions? Oh, some instructions. Did yes. he sideline you? No comment. I want that answer. No comment. I have barely five minutes to end I, this I, show. I, 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 I choose not to respond to that. Did he sideline you? And that's my fundamental human rights. Some believe that you were sidelined. I say I wouldn't comment about that. Were you sidelined? I, I am focused on my campaign. I get your point. And but were you sidelined? I don't know. You don't know whether you're sidelined. You're the know. person you're talking about. Who? You surely will know. I don't know. Are you withholding information from the people? Wh which people? In terms of whether you're sidelined or not. I, I disagree with you, and I will not comment about okay, it. Okay, now finally, let me get. Because to I respect it. <laughs> let me get this point from you. Will Kojo wants to be a good president and a flag bearer of the NDC? Kojo wants to know my stand. You, you, you were his friend. You agreed that you were going to find alternative to John Dramani Mahama, and yet you backstabbed him. That is his conclusion. <laughs> that is his conclusion. Oh, no, that's not true. He oh, that's what he that. said. No, he didn't say oh, that. Oh, backstabbing? No, no, he didn't oh, say that. Oh, have you read the statement properly? No, that's not it. I put a statement. No, his statement. He, he didn't, didn't put, put his statement no, out. No, he didn't put a statement. He has a statement out. You no, he didn't. It. He didn't. He came back to say it's fixed. Fake, 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 fake hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He was on this network. Yes. He talked about you joining the case and you betraying him. Are you serious? Didn't you betray him? How could I have betrayed him? Because. Listen, yeah, let me, let me say when you When you were doing let the unit to work together, let me, let me, let me the idea was that you find out the alternative. That's not true. <laughs> let me tell you something. He didn't say that. He will say that. Really? Yeah, you know, he knows that. I mean, Kojo Bosu knows my stand when it comes to the That he won't be a better flag bearer. No, 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 please. He has a style. You don't run somebody down and say he won't be. I'm saying that for me, he knows where I stand mm -hmm. when it comes to the flag bearer. He knows. And if you ask him, he's a Christian. Anytime we're moving, he's the person to pray. Okay. And he will not lie about that. Mm -hmm. He knows I stand with John Draman in my mind. He knows. He didn't and, plan to and, and, find an alternative. No, no, no. And he knows that anytime we travel anywhere and we're working, the people say that if not John Mama, they don't want anybody. They told him. So he could jump on. And then one way, one way. Well, he was going to run. No, I didn't. I mean, I got, I got information from him. Mm -hmm. A night before the next day, uh, a picture of him appeared on the social media. Uh, that he was seeing. Were you shocked? Building. Very shocked. Do you think his act is an act of betrayal? I, I choose not to answer to that. Ah, you don't think so? He didn't. He, he, you know, he has his right. Is he stabbing former President Mahama? Let, let me tell you something. Is he stabbing well, former President Mahama in the dark? But that's his own style. You need to. Ask is he it, doing so? I say you need to ask former President Mahama this question: whether he feels that. But I'm not sure he's not. He doesn't feel it. He's focused. Former President Mahama is focused on his campaign. He's moving. To do his campaign, and he's not, he, you know, one thing he said is that he's not going to talk about anybody. Yes, he's going to talk about the things that he will do to improve the living conditions of Ghanaians. The former President Mohammed's campaign team believes that um, Dr. Baumea is calling him names. Is this true? They believe that Dr. Baumea is calling him names. Is this true? Calling who names? Calling former President Mohammed names. We are aware he has been calling him names, not today. Uh, and his names are coming. Which his names are coming? Oh, they will come soon. When? Don't worry, soon. The NDC is going to oh, put names. But the names are already there, out there, don't you know? Which, which are the names? Oh, uh, please. I want to know specifically what Offensive you Offensive conduct is uh, still hanging around my back. <laughs> oh, you're afraid now. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I can't be. Listen, listen, clearly. Let me tell you something. Yes. There's one thing. Yeah? Listen to me, Chief. Okay. And look at me. There's one thing I've never been afraid of. It's my life. Mm. Yes. You know my belief? That where I sit... 
If God says, this is where I will end my life, I will. Okay. So I move, knowing that at any time, I can go. Because if you know that you were going to die, then you prevent it from happening. Is that right? Okay, I get you. But you don't know. So whatever happens to me, God wants it to happen. I get Not you. human beings. So that's my belief. I've run out of time. I really wish we could have this conversation consistently yeah. because I enjoyed engaging you on this matter. You but always enjoy engaging me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it should be so. But for now, folks, that's where we end today's edition of Upfront. My guest was Joshua Kamba. He's currently Deputy National Organizer of the NDC, seeking, among other things, to be the National Organizer substantive when the NDC goes to the polls in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching us.